Moving on, Michael said, oh, this week's storm has been named Dennis. Is it OK to give it the hashtag Dennis the Menace? Yeah, more storms are on the way this weekend after Storm Kira hit us last week. Uh, and I, you, you were... No, you were affected by that as well. How were you affected? Deeply affected. Really? What happened to you? I had to put my dog in a coat. OK. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was exciting, though, to see the name Kira in common uh, currency cos the, 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 the naming of storms now is now spread among the different meteorological agencies. So Met oh. Aaron, who the Irish one, get to name a handful of them and with, with Irish names. Uh, and it is fun to watch you just get used to these names over here because we're giving you the easy ones uh, and <laughs> two or three down the years down the line you've got Storm uh, Cohor, uh, <laughs> Storm Willochland, that one's going to really uh, do some serious damage like whatever and Storm Dara is inevitably appearing at some stage because we only have a sentence so, uh, and I'll go ha 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 and make lots of jokes oh Storm Dara ho 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 and then people will die and that'll be the end of me uh, <laughs> what, uh, what are your thoughts either of you on the bridge to, uh, between, between um, Scotland and North Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's not happening. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do we not all know that that's not happening? That it's literally just there's no way that that's... Uh, for, for, if for no other reason is, yeah, there are big, long bridges all over the world. Whatever, yep. the, uh, and I've been, been bombarded with these facts about these things. They're usually not built over really deep water. Uh, and the RC is 300 metres deep. Yep. The, uh, how tall is the uh, shard? 300 metres. Uh, okay. You'd have to build a shard 100 times between Scotland and Ireland, right? Including building it on Beaufort Dyke, which is that ditch in which they stuck a tonne, sorry, sorry, a million tonnes of explosives, right? And then you think Irish people are going to go, I could get the ferry, or... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could drive to the Mullican Tire, which is only a seven-hour de detour, uh, and, then, and then drive my car across the most wind-whipped bridge <laughs> in the world <laughs> to see if I could flip wildly into an explosive ditch uh, <laughs> just to end up in rural Northern Ireland. It's never <laughs> happening! <laughs> Do you think Boris cares about Ireland? Oh, God, I could, not, I could not compress my fingers enough to measure <laughs> <laughs> the amount of Boris cares about. Now, you've actually met Sandy, uh, Sandy uh, Nancy Pelosi. I met right? Nancy Pelosi. I was, uh, this is one of those weird things in your life. I was uh, backstage waiting to do a TED talk, and she came in and uh, introduced herself, and I said, do you know where there's coffee? And she said, I'll make it for you. I've had coffee made for me by Nancy Pelosi. Right. Huh? Did she seem nice? She was absolutely charming. The coffee was shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she was lovely and very, very personable. Um, did you shake her hand? I did shake her hand, yes, because I've got manners. Yeah. But also, I knew the VAR thing was watching, so I just wanted to make sure <laughs> that I, I think, didn't snub. I think I, fair play to her for shaking Trump's hand, though. Yeah. But that takes some doing, because I can't imagine he's the sort of fellow who washes his hands after the toilet. Oh! <laughs> Oh, Real he's actually the opposite, doesn't he? Isn't he a compulsive washer? He's a germaphobe. He's, he's a germaphobe. Yeah. yeah, I'm surprised though with his belly he can find his penis. That's <laughs> <laughs> I've got a serious question actually. Uh, the the unions and the control of the unions or the perceived control of the unions yeah. within the selection of the Labour leaders, do you think that's something that needs to be understood more by the wider public? Well, I mean, for the first time ever in this contest, it's like a really serious... I'm sorry, this is meant to be like a bounce share, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> really uh, serious No, I've got a cock joke at the end okay. <laughs> About a bell and dance... I tell you, the punchline is bell and... <laughs> <laughs> well, look, story, I don't know if anyone saw this, but a guy in Florida... I'm going to go on the side of the animals now. A guy in Florida tried... To, he kidnapped an alligator and tried to get it drunk. Does anyone know this story? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, this guy is a dick, right, for many reasons, right? He wasn't even drunk himself. Like, I understand if you're drunk, you see an alligator, you think it's just a guy with a big nose and a green jacket. And you go, <laughs> oh, let's get drunk together. But this is a, an alligator, right? And he was, lure, he was making it open its jaws by putting his arm oh, like that. Like, Alligator would open and then he would put beer in its mouth and he got the alligator shit faced. Yeah. But I mean, how much of a dick do you have to be to get an animal drunk? I mean, that's probably not even the worst thing that's happening. There's probably someone as we speak, I don't know, giving a crab MDMA. Can <laughs> <laughs> I just say? I don't go in enough this... playgrounds. My... <laughs> <laughs> My granddad's going to be watching this. He's going to turn the telly on and think, what the fuck is going I mean... on? <laughs> Just your childhood <laughs> Karma Sutra packet. <laughs> uh, John, what, what job would you do if you weren't a comedian? 
I'm still reeling from news that the UK has pineapple farms. That's very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we will be all right after Brexit, after all. <laughs> <laughs> I've always fantasised about being a long-distance lorry driver. Have you? Just, yeah, just, I like just driving and just being on my... That when you're on the news, they've been stuck on the M20 for a week. I think, God, that sounds incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get some sandwiches, watch a film. <laughs> oh, you've got a little bed behind there and they've got a little sink. Oh! Um, <laughs> you know... <laughs> You don't have to go home if you don't have to. <laughs> have you been affected by that, Jesse? Or do you, I mean, have you ever flushed fruit down the toilet? I did that, but not at the airport. <laughs> Just at the house. Um, that's, where we, that's where we put the fruit, at, at my house. No, I once, I once actually threw up all over the customs desk. Because I got... I got um, it was actually during, like, the Ebola scare, so people yeah. were already on hand, and I landed at Heathrow from Dubai. I had eaten something at the airport in Dubai. I got, like, terrible stomach flu. And then I was at the, you know, desk, and I threw up all over, and while I was throwing up, I was like, I'm sorry, it's not Ebola, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. And just, <laughs> as, uh, I'm throwing up on my passport and their documents and the little thing where you put your fingers, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then luckily somebody was like, oh, I know him, and he's, he's in a movie. And then the guy behind the thing was like, well, then he must not have Ebola, and they said... <laughs> uh, look, when it comes to social media, what, what are your best ways of dealing with it? Oh, hiding in a cave until people <laughs> stop doing it. Yeah. You're not on social media at all, are you? No, 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 I find the whole thing terrifying. Yeah, and uh, do yeah. you think it's helped? Has it put you in a better place? By not being in it? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't... There's no control group, because I'm not on it, so I don't know, I assume so. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic, so... John, are you... <laughs> John, are you on social media? I am, yes. I regularly tweet Josh and ask him questions, so it's good to know why he's been ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> But we live next door, so we should talk, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I use it. I, on a tour, I yeah. stalk my audience. So if people tweet me before a gig, I'll yeah. go through the last two or three years of their tweets, and then I'll do five minutes on the fact that their dog's got diarrhoea, or <laughs> which neighbour's got their trainers. Yes, an invaluable resource. It's lucky your audiences are so small you can do that, isn't it? <laughs> How are you both feeling about coronavirus? I'm a bit ill at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, do you want me to swap with him? No, you're no. Right. I've got enough problems, I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, how <clears throat> do you think you would cope if you had to self-isolate? Oh, I think it would be brilliant to be away from my two-year-olds. I'd just watch yeah. Netflix and drink wine. Well, I'd been ill this last week and I downloaded Football Manager for the first time in about ten years. Yeah. And it's the best time-wasting game you can ever... For anyone who doesn't know, you're just a manager of a football team on a game. Sounds awful. It's sad, but Mate, it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. How are you getting on? Um, three seasons in with Forest Green. Yeah. I'm on the brink of a chop, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, two, for, lost the playoffs two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I had a game. I managed to win the Champions League of Huddersfield. Can um, I go into isolation? How many seasons? It's, it's, uh, it was like... Ten seasons in, but you need to play four, two, three, one. <laughs> I don't have enough fingers to show them. <laughs> this is the Can scene. The, yeah. This is the scene in the outbreak movie montage where they show the people that aren't taking it seriously. <laughs> I'm going to start with you, Jeff. What are the positives that do you think that's going to come out of us uh, well, living here? Well, me, obviously, a lot of it is about sort of democracy and trade and stuff like that. But just on a personal level, obviously, yeah. given the job that I work in, I've had a lot of arguments. Do you know what I mean? I had a few rows. People say, "Did you know what you were voting for, Jeff?" And I'm like, "Well, I gave it, gave it my best." But the best argument I had was when somebody said. What about Gibraltar? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest, I didn't think about that at all. <laughs> <laughs> he said, but we might have to go to war with Spain. I went, good, I think that's one we could win. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we've, already, we've, already got, we've already got a sleeper cell dad's army of pensioners out there, right? <laughs> <laughs> And the good thing is, if they get captured and interrogated, they'll never blab, because they've never learned the fucking language, should they? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the Scottish Parliament have now voted for a second referendum and are keeping the EU flag flying. Uh, some European MEPs have said that Scotland could join the EU on their own in the future and said they would, quote, keep a light on for Scotland. Ashley, how do you think Ireland uh, feels about all this? I mean, it's been a tricky one for Ireland, because Northern Ireland is obviously hugely important, and yet no-one's really seemed to care in Britain this last uh, mm -hmm. couple of years. And now we've been left with this odd situation where uh, Northern Ireland have left the EU as well, but they're still in sort of like, not the customs union, but sort of the customs union. And then like your stuff, your imports and your exports have to be checked at the border, yeah. but the border is invisible. <laughs> so that means like you have to rely on people's trustworthiness to maybe declare that they should 
pay more. And there's no way Irish people would ever be cheeky enough to exploit that <laughs> in any way. I'm just imagining, like, some lad going down the street with, like, a washing machine in a dress and someone coming along going, hey, did you pay tax on that? He's like, this? This is my wife, sir. <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on Harry and Meghan? Have they done the right thing? What do you think? I mean, I, I, oh. I feel for them, like, yeah. running away from paparazzi, like, it's just constantly paparazzi after them. Like, I mean, even Boris Johnson got in a fridge. I mean, which is basically what Harry and Meghan done. They've just moved to a very big fridge. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, David? I think, if I, I think other members of the royal family must be going, we're allowed to leave? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rossendale Rubicon said, is it OK that Donald Trump is still going to be president after the impeachment? It's been going on for a while. Let's try and boil down the basics of what's going on in Washington this week. Donald Trump is accused of breaking the law by withholding military aid from Ukraine unless they dug up dirt on his possible political rival, Joe Biden. Now, his defence seems to be, yeah, I did it, but it's not worthy of impeachment. And since the Republicans control the Senate, who ultimately decide the verdict, he's probably not going to get kicked out of office. D David, I mean, you spend time in America. Do you think he's going to be re-elected? I think it's the death of hope if he is. I mean, I think it's entirely possible. Yeah. But I really fear for what happens over there and then consequently around the world if he is. Can I ask you... build a wall around the whole country and forget about it. It's done. Can I ask you a question? When, when, you, say, when you say something negative about Donald Trump... Yeah. Right, do you worry about how that's going to affect audiences in America or your fans in America or your career in America? Well, I do now. <laughs> <laughs> I was fine with it before, but... <laughs> can we re-record the last thing? <laughs> so, let me ask you, Rosie, are you worried about the coronavirus? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Look at me. I got too much on my plate already. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little cough, I mean... I can deal with that. <laughs> Easy. Sean, are you worried? Me? Yeah. About what? The coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yeah, this. Um, yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm approached to these things. It's always about, you know, like in a film where a car leaves the road and ends up in a, in a river underwater. <laughs> yeah. The people that do this, they don't make it, do they? Yeah. <laughs> and the ones who go... <gasps> <laughs> they live, always, in films, don't they? So I think they're the people to uh, aspire to. <laughs> you haven't seen that film, have you, Rosie? <laughs> oh. You're not helping me at all, Rosie. I'm giving you all I've got here. <laughs> I wouldn't panic. But also, I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> How do we feel? How do you feel about the budget and the potholes? Um, well, the potholes, they've obviously done a big focus group and find out, to find out what people really care about in life. <laughs> and potholes is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, I'm personally a fan of potholes, I think they're... I'll miss them. Really? I think I see them very much as like nature's speed bumps. <laughs> yeah. I actually go out at night and make my own. <laughs> Pickaxe in the boot, and I can do I can do a two, few hundred in a night. Is it okay that Les Dennis was accused of swearing at a toddler in a case of mistaken identity? and created the funniest Twitter storm I've ever seen. Um, Josh and Alex, you guys actually met Les Dennis, right? We've yeah. met Les Dennis. Yep. He was lovely. He was great. Um, that, that was us with Les Dennis. There we yep. are. That was actually the original line-up for The Last Leg. <laughs> <laughs> it was much more survey-based back in those days. Yep. We, asked, we asked people at home what are the top ways to lose a foot. You said combine accident. <laughs> if it's up there, I'll give you the money myself. <laughs> I'll give you my own foot if it's up there. <laughs> and uh, do you know what? To settle the argument once and for all, it was only fair that we invite him on the show, so yeah. would you please welcome Les Dennis. Twitter was right. What a disappointment. 
Because yeah. the coronavirus went viral this week, so did a new internet challenge called Flip. <laughs> <laughs> what? How do you make anything like this? <laughs> 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 Last year you did end up shirtless in the audience. Can you guarantee that won't happen again? I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> That's why I can't get insurance. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when I see the adverts on the telly, I am three months away from being 50 and I am not getting a free pen. <laughs> <laughs> And no, I, that's why I'm not watching the History Channel. <laughs> Nine out of ten adverts, uh, have you thought about what your kids will do when you go, they've had a good enough start, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> Tom is now behind the bar. Of course he is. <laughs> Are you jealous? This is the better place to be. No, it's not. This is what's happening with pubs <laughs> around the country. Good <laughs> landlords are being driven out by managers who don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> We have got, uh, Johnny, we have got a photo of you from ten years ago. Let's have a look, see how much you've changed. Wow. What were you doing in that photo? I was doing an advertisement and I was rolling across the bonnet of a car and I suddenly realised that I had a family to look after. <laughs> and then, as your children get older, you realise that they're going to find pictures like that online. <laughs> and so I retired from such adverts. <laughs> Everything uh, you say feels like it needs their phone number at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> By your sadness. I am a walking helpline. <laughs> 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 All right, let's talk sport now. 2019 saw England wow, win. Wow, is that my bit? Is that. <laughs> 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 is that all? There's more. I'm going to ask you more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get a chance to talk about my ambitions. Just there's a picture. Look, you looking fat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what have, what's been your highlight of the decade? <laughs> it doesn't matter! <laughs> I am... Um, my highlight of the decade... Well, I thought you were going to ask me my highlight of the year... Yes, what's that? ..was watching a really angry Punch and Judy man actually leave the tent and he walked past an ice cream man and he went, I'm at you. <laughs> <laughs> he knew that his Punch and Judy... <laughs> women hitting men was in demise and he was angry that another guy had gone into a different business selling joy rather than domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> and I sat there and it really made me happy. <laughs> uh, my highlight of the decade... <laughs> all of the family, collectively, gathering together and acknowledging we've done bad things. <laughs> That, 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 gets, that gets killed in a, in a Clint Eastwood film, but at least we all held hands together and said, we've done bad things. <laughs> and at least three out of five of us opposed Brexit. <laughs> and the other two that didn't agree yeah. are now dead in a well. <laughs> Adam, yeah. on your behalf, let's talk about sport now. <laughs> Yeah, let's big the move on, cos that's my middle name. Because <laughs> <laughs> 2019 saw England win the cricket world... Yeah, yeah, well, I never got to play cricket, did I? <laughs> cos I went to a seminary school and my mum had to nip me jumper cos we couldn't afford it. So they put me in the outfield and in the outfield I used to wander off and just build a den. <laughs> so, when I watch cricket, I'm wondering, Where's the kid who's building a den? <laughs> so, fuck cricket! <laughs> the horn section, can we have the song? A long, long time ago I can still remember how the monkey used to make me smile He's now in still open all hours Wait a minute, a minute, who could it be? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Could be you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the quiz has got it's got really hard, Daisy. Yeah. Okay. Are, are we going to say it's Johnny? Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, and the and song, American do you know the song? The American Pie. Pie. Miss American, Pie. American, American Pie. Pie. Two points to Adam Steve. <laughs> that could have been anyone, but you chucked in the monkey reference, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs>